Let's move things along to Rick's Corner, Simple Solutions for Common Questions. As I mentioned, we do have a full house today, so we are um, we, we are lucky enough to be joined by Sherilyn as well. And you guys are going to be covering uh, some topics around claim listings, correct? Yes, sir, we are. So thank you, Jason. Um, welcome, Sherilyn. So glad that you were able to make, make it today. Hey, Rick. Yeah, I'm always happy to be here. It's one of uh, the highlights of my month for sure. <laughs> All right, so like Jason was stating, today we're going to be talking a little bit about claim listings, uh, but one step further than just a basic claim listing, right? So in order for this uh, explanation to work on your website, bear in mind that you do need to have the claim listing add-on active on your site. Um, and basically what we're going to be discussing today is how to change the link where people click on in order to claim their listing. Um, so let me explain a little bit more about this, Jason, and, and why this comes into play. Um, so there, there comes a time when people have a list of members that have already um, worked in the past. So it's not new members that they found online. It's people that they have worked in, in the past. They have this big list and they want to add that list onto their billing directory's website. That's not a problem and that's something that the platform supports. Um, we recommend when you're doing that process to set those members up as claim listings so that they can find them, their listing and claim it as their own. The basic functionality of the claim listing is that a little message is going to show up on their profile where they can click on that link and they're going to be directed to the join page. All right. So that's the default functionality. If you, if you would like, I can go ahead and share my screen here or you can walk us through the process. Yeah, I'm just going to let me set one of the membership levels to claim listing. And actually, I didn't realize it, but it, it ties into the to the update on the import members that I just showed. So let's say you import a, a bunch of members. You had some business data and you added it to the site. Um, what you can do is you can go to the pricing tab and under account type. Again, if you have the add on, you can set these as claim listing accounts. Um, and now you saw this actually popped up here, which is what Rick is going to cover. But before we get into this, let's actually take a look at what the claim listing message looks like on the member's profile page. So let's go back here. And uh, I guess we, let's just look at one of the member's profile pages here. It is here. Yeah, you're right. It is here to explain when we have the actual link rather than just saying there's going to be a link showing up. So thank you for that. All right, so um, again, this is a demo site we use. I see that it's a, some things here like with the Google Maps, but let's look at this banner here. It says, are you modern bathroom? Claim this listing to receive referrals from this page. Exactly correct. So that's the default functionality. What that will do is that when the user clicks on claim listing, he'll be directed to the join page. All right, so a few things that come into play here. If you happen to have a free listing on your join page, then the person that's claiming the listing is going to be able to claim that listing as a free member, all right? Which means they won't have to pay you to be a part of your directory. And that's why this feature that we're going to discuss today is so important. It really comes into play in this whole process. Um, so like in, in this particular scenario where Jason just clicked on, that's the join page, but there's only one listing. By default, most, uh, by default, correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, web, um, brand directors websites have three plans that show up on their join page. Yeah, if right? you, yeah, just, just, just as a stock launch, uh, there's like three sample mm -hmm. plans there and most people, there's a big debates whether to keep the free option or not, but let's assume most people keep the free option there, uh, on their pricing pages. Exactly. So if the user of the website, again, identifies that there's a way in which they can become a member of your directory without paying, more, li more than likely they're going to choose that option. All right. So this is where we, uh, we can go ahead and intervene as a directory owner here. Um, and we can intervene in the process by guiding the user of the website to either one specific membership level or another join page that doesn't have any free listings listed. Now, we are going to recommend or we strongly recommend get guiding the claim listings to one specific membership level, and I'll be happy to show you how to do it. All right. Do you want to take over the controls from here, Rick? If that's okay with you, I'll be yeah. more than happy to. Yep, I'll pass over to you. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and edit this setting that we've been talking about. So to do this, we're going to go to the finance 
tab and we're going to open up the manage products because again what we're doing is editing the claim listings all right so let's say for instance this uh, general user was the membership level that we want to edit all right um, a few things I want to explain before diving into the membership level um, if you guys are not familiar each membership level that gets created on your list on your website has a product ID all right this is very important the product ID is basically what links each membership level or determines which membership level is which, right? So the basic membership level has a product ID three, which means that, let me go ahead and show you what this means. If I go, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my website here and I'm gonna open up the join page real quick, just to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we have the three listings that we were talking about before. This is the basic membership level. I'm gonna scroll down here and if I click create listing here, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna click on create listing, you're gonna be able to see that the since I'm well, my website is not using a um, an SSL at the moment, I'm gonna be directed to this secure pay secure my payment page. Um, but this is the part that I, I want to explain and I want you to focus on. So here I'm gonna be directed to slash checkout slash three. So let's go ahead and compare that number three with the ID of that membership level. So if we go back to the membership levels, we're able to see that the basic membership level indeed has a product ID three. So that way, again, that the system knows where to direct you or which membership level you're going to be creating the listing as is with that specific ID. Now, I'm sorry if this was confusing, but there's actually a reason why I'm explaining this because let me copy this here. I'm just gonna copy the checkout slash three now go back to the membership levels. Again, let's pretend that this general user account uh, is the claim listing that I'm editing. And let me not pretend, let me just switch it to claim. Um, so that's gonna be the membership level. I'm gonna jump to the pricing tab. Instead of the free account, we're gonna switch this to a claim. Perfect. And now this opens up this whole thing. And this is, a, this is what we are talking about. This is a specific field. What this allows you to do is to overwrite the default functionality that Jason showed us before, in which when the user clicks on the create a listing, he's directed to the join page. So we're gonna replace that join page with the actual link for the membership level. So as you saw, I just copied the slash checkout slash three, and now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. All right. So now by doing this, when the user of the website finds their listing um, and they click on claim listing, they're not gonna be directed to the join page, which allows them to claim the listing as a free member. They're gonna be directed to the checkout page number three. Well, in this case. <laughs> Why don't we change that to five then? And then because you're doing yeah. the test on the general listing, um, make sure that it's a searchable profile as well. So they have a, a public profile page. Great catch. Just a second, let me switch that. So, uh, because we were just, we jumped into editing the, uh, it looks like they are searchable there, yeah. so that's good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and save this now. Save the whole um, membership level. All right, um, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go back to the membership levels. Uh, just a second here. Okay, the reason why I wanna do this is because I have a member here. So let me open up the members and I wanna go to the live profile real quick here. So this is the sample member. I'm gonna view the live profile. All right, so like we saw at the beginning of the conversation, here's the banner that says, are you the sample general user? Claim this listing to receive referrals. Now, if I click on claim listing, I should be directed to the checkout number five. All right, so <laughs> yeah, this is, the, this is because we don't have a, an actual membership level, bear with me. Uh, yeah, we don't have a number five, Jason. Let me switch it to the product ID number one, which is the premium. Bear with me, just a sec. Um, so I switched this uh, to the five, and I was actually on the on membership level number five. So let me switch it to number one. All right, this tells the system that this is the premium member or the premium level. All right, let me save that. Go back to the. All right. So now here, let's go ahead and do it one more time. Let's click claim listing. And there you go. It now indeed takes me to checkout number one. So what will happen at this point is that whoever is claiming that listing is gonna be able to register on your website, but it's not gonna be able to register for free. It's gonna be directed to the right membership level, the right form that they need to complete. Um, and this is basically why um, the whole claim listing uh, functionality is there for. It's basically just bringing 
um, the information from that profile, which you had already uploaded to your to your site, and it's gonna it's gonna have that information already. So it's not like you're creating a new profile. You're actually indeed claiming the one that you had already uploaded to your site. So once the user fills this information out, they're gonna be already registered for that specific membership level with all the perks that that membership level could have. That's awesome. I know we showed this feature a while ago um, in, in a previous webinar when it was released, but I noticed that a lot of people in the Facebook group and the support tickets were asking how to kind of direct um, claim listing people to, to a specific page. So whether it's a landing page or directly to the page you want them to check out on, I think this is an awesome feature uh, to do it. I think so too. Plus the 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 fact that it's so easy, right, to control, which is just filling out what link you want to use, it adds a lot of functionality here. You don't have to worry about hiring someone to do this for you, editing pricing pages whatsoever. It's just a matter of adding the right link on the right field. So yeah, very a lot of functionality there, Jason. Awesome, great. Does anyone have any questions about the claim listing in general? Let's see if anyone has their, um, if you want to raise your hand right now. Um, our VJ has a question here. Hey, VJ, how are you doing today? Hi, Jason. How are you? Good, good. How's it going? Good, good. Um, so, yeah, I've just got a question. Um, what would you recommend is the best thing to do, like um, when emailing claim listings? Would you, If you're sending them to one page, would you send them to a free listing first? So you've you've imported business data onto your site, and then you want to know you want to email the the person um, with a link to their profile that that they've been added to your site. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. So I've currently got three levels, and um, they were used. To, so I was originally sending them to the join page, but I really wanted them to just sign up for the free list. I'm just wondering what your recommendation would be. Um, well, Peter, if we were to just send them to one listing, would you recommend sending them to free first? I like to streamline the process. If you're sending them the email, um, you can look at it two ways. One is what's more valuable to you, just getting the real person active on your site, and, and then with that you want the free option, or is your, is your website popular enough and, and is your uh, marketing compelling enough to get them to pay at first glance? then you might want to direct them to just the paid option. Any way you look at it, I recommend streamlining the process. Um, and, and sending them to a page with multiple option isn't necessarily bad, but it is an extra step in the process of, of getting them to claim their listing. So you just have to see um, if, if that's creating a hurdle uh, for people. Um, the only the only thing I've I've heard of I've heard of but I haven't seen as often is that people are afraid that when it's there's a free option that uh, competitors are going to hijack um, listings on your site. I, I again I, I've heard it before but I haven't necessarily seen it. People abusing the the free claim listing option. So if you do see that there is abuse, that's when you might want to have at least a verification process for claiming a listing. There's lots of different directions you can go in. Pat, I know you've dealt with a lot of claim listing and importing members. What are your thoughts on that? So there's a couple of angles. One, Brilliant Directors actually has a great export tool now that gives you the URL link of the actual profile. You don't have to do any sort of uh, formula to get the URL to be co configured. I find sending them to their profile and having them claim from there is more effective than sending them straight to the actual pricing page uh, itself. For, for a claim listing. Sure, yeah, uh, I, I that's what I did originally. So I sent them all to the, mm -hmm. the, I did the export, sent them to the profile page, but when they were claiming, then I was getting a lot of emails asking about traffic and all that. And because we're a new site, I was thinking, okay, well I should just take away all those paid options and just send them free and then let them upgrade as the site grows maybe. Yeah, I think I think it goes, and and that's one of the modules of the directory gurus course. The uh, that's module four, the directory equation. And you're absolutely right. If you just talk about, hey, join this directory, they're going to ask you questions like traffic and leads. So if you don't have a, a, if you're not solving a problem, and if that's not the core message, like, hey, this site was launched to address this issue this is why you should be claiming your profile. If it's just a straight up, hey, you have a listing on this directory, you can click this link and claim your profile. Even if it's free, 
that message oftentimes fails to resonate with the end user. It being free, I get emails every day from software companies offering me free stuff and I don't even open the emails because I'm busy. But if somebody can capture my attention and basically describe a problem that I'm experiencing today, then at that point, there's a much better chance I'm gonna engage with that email. I'm not gonna ask questions like, how much traffic are you getting? How many leads am I gonna get? Because the site itself was launched to address an issue that's common in whatever industry I'm in. And that's about, that's the hamster wheel we always refer to at the beginning of the webinar, which is always starts off with solving a problem for an existing issue within your industry. And if there's no problem that you're solving, then it, I, I must admit, it's a much more difficult conversion at that point to get them to engage because it's hard to resonate with that audience. Cool. Awesome. All right. Thanks for your question, VJ. If I can jump in real quick, one other hybrid solution to the question regarding should you send these new members who are trying to claim a listing directly to a free account sign up or a paid one is if you're a member of the VIP add-ons club, we do have the free trial period add-on. So one option would be to send those members to a checkout page where they can uh, claim their listing. It's a premium account, but you can, you know, set however long you want them to have that premium membership level for. You know, maybe you want to let them have it for 30 days or as little as seven days. You can set that, and then at the end of that trial period, they can decide whether or not your site proves to be beneficial to uh, to their business. Ultimately, I think it depends on what business model you're following for your website, how you're trying to generate that revenue, but that's uh, kind of a hybrid option. And, and David, I think that that is a fantastic recommendation and I think it should definitely be leveraged. And the cherry on top would be, and we've covered it in previous webinars, when you're on that page with the free trial that David's referring to, then you'd want to have in the sidebar, you'd want to have a, a, a video or you'd have to have some sort of information that explains the highlights of signing up. Because if you're going from your profile directly to that sign up page, and, and I, I agree with David's recommendation, I think that'd be the best strategy to, to implement. I think it's important on that checkout page where you actually do decide there and then if you're going to follow through on this to have some sort of video embedded in the sidebar of the sign up page brilliant directories makes it incredibly easy to control what this what sidebar you're going to call on a sign up page per membership level so it'd be fantastic for a campaign like this I'm just showing some of the settings here for the free trial period. If you have the add-on enabled, if it's a paid account type, I also think that's a great suggestion, David. You can enable uh, free trials for specific membership levels. And if you're directing the claim listing to this, the checkout page for this membership level, I think it's a fantastic hybrid. So if you wanted to do uh, 10 free days, um, it's essentially a free sign-up. And if they don't cancel within those that 10 days, then they won't get billed. Um, and if they don't cancel, then, then they'll be billed, but at least they got a chance to test drive uh, uh, your site. And uh, if they want to cancel, maybe they don't want their listing removed, but they might want to be downgraded to maybe the free option that you offer on the website. But at least you got some uh, a real person to claim that listing. So, so it was a very smart idea there, Dave. Thanks, Ed. And one final point piggybacking on what Pat said about adding a video into the sidebar of the checkout page. We had a web webinar segment from uh, a few months ago now where we reviewed uh, ways to add confidence boosters to your various checkout pages by placing them in the sidebar. So I'll go ahead and link that in the chat. Uh, if you haven't watched that or if you want to rewatch it and get some ideas for new confidence boosters to add into the sidebars of your checkout pages. Awesome. Any final notes, uh, Rick or Sherilyn? Well, we are always happy to help. Um, so reach out to us if you have any questions on where to set this up. Um, when would it be a good idea to set, um, to set a different page other than the regular join page? If you have any questions along those lines, we're always more than happy to help. Um, and I don't know, Sherilyn, do you have anything else you would like to add? No, I think you uh, did a really great job at explaining everything. Like you said, if you know along the way, any of you guys have any questions about any of this, please reach out to us, and we're always happy to help. Cool. Thanks for that presentation, guys. I know that's been a hot topic um, in the support center and in the Facebook group, so it was a good thing to cover there.